be talking about another bait fish, um, yet still a very important fish that we've got along our coast. It's called the frigate tuna. Now, the frigate tuna, scientific name, Auxus thazard, or tazard, depending how you want to pronounce these, same as tool with thul. Now, the frigate tuna is a very similar to a bonito, except it's a more of a torpedo-shaped tuna. So it's kind of more shaped like a sardo, but without the aggressiveness, without getting too confusing. It's a torpedo-shaped uh, fish. It's got a quite a small head for its body size. They have got these sort of almost broken stripes on the top of their body. A sort of a oceanic tuna bluish color on the top and that silver belly to white underneath. They are, as I mentioned, torpedo shaped. They're very, very round, it's like a little bullet in the front. And they've got quite minimized uh, fins in terms of their tail size and their pectoral fins. They do have those little sections where they, they can fold in, so they, they are designed for fast pelagic movement. They've also got uh, extended gill rakers inside, um, which is now quite an interesting thing. So the gill rakers are those little spikes that you get on the gill arches. So inside you've got gill arches, you've got gill rakers, and you've got gill filaments. Now the filaments are the red bits that you see. They actually are the thin layer that diffuses oxygen from the water into the fish. So they absorb oxygen actually. Then your gill rakers are there for a few purposes. One, it's for splitting up those gill filaments. So the more surface area, the more oxygen that gets absorbed. And they're also there for filtration purposes and defense. So three things. So filtration purposes, they actually form like a bit of a net. So when the fish swims with the mouth open, so a lot of your, your clupidae, so your anchovies and your sardines and things like that, use them as a, a net inside the gills. So that when the food come, particles come into the mouth, they hit that, the, the rakers and actually go into the body itself. So it's a cool form of, of uh, feeding. Now, as the fins, obviously when you put your hands say, into a cob's gills or something like that, you'll find they're quite sharp and they can cut your fingers. So just be careful of that. Uh, on that note, guys, please subscribe down down below. Uh, click the little bell icon so that you get all the notification updates and also like the video if you do. If you want more in-depth sort of science type videos, please let us know in the comments. Um, if you want us to describe how you know thermoregulation works for example and things like that and how fish operates the more in-depth side of things as opposed to just the species themselves let us know i can do those videos just comment down below okay so where were we frigate tuna they are quite as we mentioned the stout fins they they like to shoal what you often find is you get similar to the bonnies how they on the surface you see these little flicks of water like that and that's the frigates coming through and, and attacking the little bait fish so as you mentioned, they do filter feed, but that's more of when they're younger. As they get older, they prefer to feed on our anchovies at the moment, are full up off our coast. There are anchovies, small little uh, sprats, anything like that, they like to hammer that. So, as you know, Kingfisher sells the anchovy spoon, that thing is deadly. You'll see, we'll put a picture up, um, you can actually see how similar that thing is to the to an actual anchovy, and they, they love it. Now, we mentioned pelagic, uh, so they're not going to be feeding on the bottom, they're feeding in the water column itself. And they get to about, I'd say, about 40 centimeters or so. Anything over 30 is mature, but we normally get them anywhere from about 25 centimeters upwards. They are an extremely important rock and surf bait. They make very nice head baits. Obviously, the cutlets have got a lot of blood in them, so they are really first prize. And they're also important for guys doing bullfish, offshore fishing, any of that where they need a live bait. A frigate is absolutely deadly. Now. Catching them can be another thing, they can get quite fussy, but generally small little flies and um, sabiki rigs and stuff like that, uh, trawled at high, higher speeds will generally get results, otherwise very, very small spoons, so we're talking 8 grams and, and smaller kind of thing is generally what they're looking for because they're feeding on those small little sprats. But what you can do is when you've caught one, take it, if you tip it upside down, generally you'll get it to spit up a few of the sprats and you can then try and match your lures in your body, uh, in your thing to what's being spat up. So yeah, the frigate tuna, very important bait, very, very cool species and quite common along our coast at the moment. Cheers.